Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the first Patch Tuesday cumulative update for Windows 11, as many of you know, started rolling out earlier this week. And that was KB5006674. Now I did mention briefly in the video that I posted on the update uh, KB5006674 that the update did download and install a lot quicker and faster than the update which downloaded and installed on my Windows 10 machine the same day. Now, the reason the updates uh, download and install faster on Windows 11 is because, as mentioned in previous videos, Microsoft says that they have uh, reduced the size of the quality updates in Windows 11 by 40%. Now, updates can vary in size depending on what update is rolling out, and this can take up, take up a lot of bandwidth. Now, as an example, you know, not everybody has access to a high-speed broadband internet connection. And in today's times where there are a lot of remote workers working from home, a lot of these updates to Windows devices are taking place from, you know, people's personal home internet connections. Um, and not everybody, as mentioned, does have a high-speed broadband uh, internet connection at home, which, is, which are, you know, are mainly found in organizations. Now... Microsoft say in a recent post that the, they have used a new compression technology to reduce the size of the updates by that 40%. And this uh, new compression technology, they say, uses reverse update data generation, which they say provides a way of efficiently distributing the forward delta to the machine and having the machine maintain a path back to its original state. And they say their ob objectives with this new compression technology um, are that uh, those are to reduce the size of the network downloads, not regress install time, and maintain compatibility with all distribution channels without any configuration changes needed by IT professionals. Now, this uh, reverse update data generation, you know, compression technology is what they use at the end of the day to reduce the updates in Windows 11 by that 40%. Now, just something quick here on the side I want to show you is that if I go to the Microsoft Update Catalog and I look for the Windows 10 update that rolled out to my Windows 10 machine, that's Windows 10 version 21H1 64-bit uh, processor KB5006670. That update was approximately 620 megabytes in size. And if I go to the update catalog and I find my Windows 11 64-bit based update, which was KB5006674, that update for my Windows 11 machine was approximately 175 megabytes in size. So that is quite a difference in size. 620 megabytes on my Windows 10 machine compared to approximately 175 meg megabytes on my Windows 11. Uh, 11 machine. Now, obviously, this isn't an accurate estimation because there are a lot of, um, you know, things that can be taken into consideration. But I just thought that was interesting that the Windows 11 update was a lot smaller compared to the Windows 10 update. And if you are interested, uh, that report by Microsoft, how Microsoft reduced Windows 11 update size by 40%, I will leave uh, this uh, a link to this post uh, in the description box below if you are interested as yeah, you can read up all about that new compression technology to reduce the update size by 40%. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.